He's an actor, an artist, a producer, a husband and a father. Please stick around. Brian Tamba. Yes, that's How, the name. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm good, sir. I'm good, sir. Ah, finally, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think everyone must know that finally it's happening. Yeah. Uh, I get to to sit. With my long-term buddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, they need to know how many years. Yo, yeah, bro, I... we're, we're still boys. Hey. Like, hey, no hey, beard, hey, nothing. Nabu hey, hey. <laughs> 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 Praiz. Hey, I'm fit, I'm fit, I'm fit, I'm fit. <laughs> Look, man, I'm, 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 uh, I know who you are and, and a whole lot of people. A whole lot, like a whole lot. This guy has two <laughs> summers and he'll talk about them. Yes, uh, yes. But 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 there is obviously a small community somewhere, right? That still needs to know who Brian Temba is, and right. maybe 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 who is Brian Temba? Hey, that question. I don't know how many times I've heard that question. Yeah. Who is Brian Temba? I I start doubting myself now. It's like <laughs> or, 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 or you know. Yeah. Uh, but I think. The simplest explanation is Brian Temba is a Kosa boy yeah. uh, who grew up in Soshanguve yeah. and uh, loving music, you know, from a church background yeah. um, with a loving mother and father and siblings. Yeah. Um, I think for the public, I'm not going to obviously go into my yeah, no, family secrets and everything course, else, you know, but course. from from the public uh, point of view, Brian Timber is somebody that loved music from a very early age. Mm-hmm. And I'm getting it to four. Yes, I went to winning my yeah. No, I started singing when yeah, I was well, four or three. No, like, no. Like, like you remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not yeah. going to say that. Um, but I started, I loved singing from an early age. Mm-hmm. From from listening to my dad's records um, and just singing along with them. You yeah. know, I will let them bully. Imagine, I will Jennifer Rush. So he had a variety of music yeah. that he used to listen to. Yeah. Yeah. And and from that, I think that influenced um, a lot of uh, who Brian Timber is today, you know, yeah. because I, I was listening to all of that. Yeah. Um, look, Brian Timber is a father. Brian Timber is a husband. Brian Timber is a son and a brother, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and all of those things make Brian Timber who he is. He loves God, yeah. uh, born again, mm-hmm. obviously loves loves Jesus. Yeah, Hallelujah, yeah. Amen, Glory. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I also love people. I I I I believe in in respecting everyone. Yeah. No matter what the status is, yeah. you have to respect people because you don't know how they will impact your yeah. life yeah. in the future. Yeah. Or even hey, if life is too long. People life are is saying life is short. Long. Short. <laughs> short for who? Tinas pilay You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm I'm that kind of person who loves people and who believe that people need to be respected to mm-hmm. receive respect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I hate, I don't like bullies. Yeah. I don't want to say I yeah, hate, but yeah. I don't like bullies. I don't like people that um, uh, look down on other people. Yeah. Um, yeah. So in a nutshell, that's who Brian Timber is. Nice, man. Nice, man. Um, obviously, I met you on stage. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, I met you on stage many years ago in the 90s. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yeah, yo. in the 90s. Oh, we're still young. Man. Hey, man, we're very young. <laughs> Don't take us for granted. But you know what the beauty is, man? When I say what in general, man. Eh? No, sir, right, man. In our, in our, in our <laughs> 40s, late 40s, we yo, are still yo, looking yo, nice. Yo, yo, yo. See, eh? see, see, nice, see, nice, <laughs> see, nice, see, nice, see, nice. So, so, so. My recollection would be you were with a group called, at the time, yes, Royal Priesthood. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Royal Priesthood. And how I got to meet you 
Yeah. It's everybody was calling me to Okrim. Okrim, it's, 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 we'll, we'll probably talk about Okrim. Right. Uh, 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 it became a music school that I actually went to study at. Yes. Um, so Okrim is where, I think it was Sundays? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or yeah, we once a month, we would go there and... A, a and, transfer. And, a, a transfer. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and there'll be like a jam session of some sort, yeah, a gospel man. jam yeah, session. Man. Yeah. And the person that took me there... Yeah. <laughs> they wanted me to hear you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, Are you there's, serious? There's a group called Real Priesthood. I'm like, okay, keep talking. Yeah. Like there's this boy called Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Are you but, serious? I was that famous. <laughs> my guy, you were famous. Hey. You were famous. <laughs> <Are> you <sure? laughs> so I went there. I'm listening to this guy. He's just greeting. <laughs> was I greeting? I greeting, don't even... greeting the audience. I don't even remember the things <laughs> I used to say, you know? Yeah. I, 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 you, you, you know, most, uh, in... Um, in, 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 in church, we'll say, greet your neighbor or tell, yes, your, say, yes, tell your yes. neighbor you look beautiful today, <laughs> whatever. And you, you you did it singing. Like, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you. I'm like, yo, 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 yo. What should I, I mean, why am I still singing for? I mean, this guy, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got it, man. Let's let's let, let, let me just focus on other that's things. Crazy. <laughs> so that's that's how far back. Yeah, uh, we, we got go. to meet and 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 yeah, I had a band. They don't know, but hey, guys, I used to sing, <laughs> not even play, not even play, sing in a band. Well, until I met this guy, man. Ah, like, don't uh, don't do that. I'm so wasting you... my time. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 tell. Tell us about that group, man. Uh, I'm interested on in how you you guys at a very young age yeah. met and and, and and created such magic. Right. Um, I think I've, I was always destined to be a solo artist. Yeah. I think my music journey started a long time ago as I, I think I was groomed to be Brian Brian Temple. I hear you. Know? you. I hear um, you. but before I met Royal Priesthood, I was um singing. You know. I, w I would sing songs like uh, Sparrow, you know. Mm. I went, there's a Usbusi, so there's a guy who lived uh, in my area, and he played keys. So okay. he played a, sp a Sparrow for me, yeah. and I would sing. So there was a show at the hall in, in, in my age, yeah. and, uh, and I was singing Sparrow, and these guys were there. Um, and I, I saw them singing, and I'm like, eh, hey, boys to manly. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Come on. Hey, baba. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yeah. So these guys are singing, and I'm like, I'm marveling at these guys. I'm like, damn, these guys are good. Yeah. So that show, I think, was curated by Ubraiz. Ubraiz. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and they sang, and I sang. So eventually, we met up Gabraiz. Gabraiz, yeah. because we 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 used to have gatherings there. You yeah. know, they invited me. No, they used to have gatherings there. Yeah. I wasn't the a part oh, of yeah, the yeah. crew then. You were you were not in the inner circle. No, 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 no. I was Brian yeah. Kiwane at the yeah. time. So they invited me over. Kanti bebane plan vele guti ni join the royal priesthood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So, but. I, I think because of their talent, I was I was impressed by their mm -hmm. talent, mm -hmm. and they were impressed with how I sang as well. Yeah. So we decided, nah, let's let's put it together, man. Mm -hmm. Let's let's let me be the the fifth member mm -hmm. of the group. Yeah. And and it worked out. Yeah. Well, you guys you guys did wonders back then. Yeah, man. No, wow. definitely. And then uh, we 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 in social Nguve at the time. Yeah. I mean, we're all in social Nguve at the time. Yeah. And to to Brian went to Jobek to join Joyous Celebration. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> how who recruited you? How did that come oh, about? I mean, uh, the thing is, you see, you need to remember that the way we did music, mm -hmm. we were never looking for money. I don't oh, know. No, maybe no, you no, did. No, no. Maybe you no, did. No, no. But money came very late. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like we were never looking for money, yeah. and we didn't have. The, the, the prospect that we could get paid to sing. Yeah. I didn't, yeah. you know? Yeah. I sang because I loved what I did. Yeah. And and that's it. Yeah. For me, there wasn't anything else beyond that. Mm -hmm. Until <clears throat> uh, at, at my church at the time, we used to have 
um, albums. So those albums were produced by Mtunzi Namba. Yeah. Right? And one Sunday, Mtunzi Namba and Family Factory came to church. Yeah. It, it was in a regional meeting and it was in Attridgeville. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now these guys are coming in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm innocent, but card. Color blocky. Yeah, but color blocky. They understand the bash. They're coming through, and I'm like, why? I want to buy this. Yeah, yeah. They start saying, I'm like, yo, you, these people. But to like, I'm nandi. Like, I'm like, I'm blown away. Yeah. So I think at the end, Nami Ngakula, I think. Yeah. I sang at church because I was leading some songs yeah. um, at church. Kanta ba wang pegi le na, bebo? I see cool as it got then, all of those things. I think at the end of the show, I got to speak to Vic, Vicky yeah. Villagas. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you guys are so beautiful. Like, Nikula Ramnandi, <laughs> what do you guys do? Yeah. But uh, we sing. That's all we do. Ngati, what do you do? We sing. Ngati, you get paid to sing. Mm. But yes, my life changed from that day. Wow. Yeah, my life changed from that day. Wow. I was like, eh. Business management, what? No, no, no. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, this was in 97. Uh, 98, I left home. I lied to my mom and said, uh, yeah. Sylvester, I'll, uh, I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> uh, because now I had the taste, I can actually get paid yeah, to sing. To sing. Do something I can have a love. life. Yeah, yeah. Singing. So my conviction was tenfold. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I went to 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 um to to Ferenaheng, stayed there with my brother, mm -hmm. and not knowing that he was also a bass player that was known in the gospel oh, no, no, industry. No, no, he he was he was all the way up there, man. Yes, it's like <laughs> I didn't I didn't even know. You know, I mean, wow. I mean, he, oh, he's just funny. I just said that name, yeah, so yeah. I'm like, ah. Yeah. Gandhi, he knew all these guys. Abu Nehi, he knew. Abu Abu yeah. Viki, he knew. Yeah. Friends, he knew. You understand? Yeah. There was a group called Friends. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, no, I remember Friends very well. Yeah, so he knew. He played for Friends, actually. Yeah, yeah, you he know? did. Gandhi, <laughs> all those guys from Soweto to Bayazana. Yeah. You know? Sly, uh, Viki was looking for me. After the Sunday that yeah, she came yeah, to church, church yes. she was looking for me. She was forming a group. Um, no, a, a backing singers. Like she wanted backing singers. Mm -hmm. So she wanted a male that could sing soprano, which was me. Mm -hmm. And he, 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 she wanted two more uh, and alto and tenor. could you sing that soprano? Yeah. Oh, no, no, oh, no. I still nice. can, but like, let's not get in there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so you won't believe who was the, ten, the alto and the tenor. Mm -hmm. Giselle Brothers. Oh. Yes. Mm. Yes. Interesting. So she found me through Sly. Wow. She was looking for me all this time after the church thing. And then she called me and said, I want you to, do be, my, to be my backing singer, obviously. So I started backing Vicky for a while. Mtunzi was there, obviously, because he was doing the albums for everybody, yeah, yeah. Joy Celebration and everybody. Joy Celebration was just coming up. Auditions were coming up. Mm -hmm. And uh, because I was backing Vicky and they already knew mm -hmm. who I was, yeah. Bang Fahu Joy Celebration. Yeah, and and a year later I was in Family Factory, and yeah, the rest is history. And you had that uh, uh, big song with 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 uh, Andy Lepepu. With Andy Lepepu. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yo, yo, yeah, no. Uh, maybe people must just go look for that video and watch. It. What, what's the name of the song? My Deliverer. Of? My Deliverer. You guys find <laughs> that video on YouTube or something. <laughs> Listen to this guy, and and and, and, and for 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 some. It's it's like back in the day for us. It's just just right here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, wow! And then you, you you I think you started a group with 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 with, with Innocent, with, um, Innocent Tavo uh, and uh, Stephen. Yeah, and how for did, you the go, the group was called for, for you. you. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. How did yeah. that come about? Um, obviously there was guys in the in Family Factory and we used to hang out, yeah. you know, a lot. And um, Tunzi Number just said, you know what? Why don't you guys form a group? Mm -hmm. You know, the four of you, uh, Amachita, I say, I say, Wagu Family Factory. Yeah. 
you know, and we said, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. You know, and for you came about that, and we went into studio. I never signed a record um, a record contract or whatever, because I never believed in them. Uh, uh, I never believed in them when when they. So um, we recorded the album. We went on tour for the album. Mm -hmm. We had never signed. Oh, you see, we had never. Well, I had never signed. I don't know. Laba banyo gut basaini lor Yeah. So after that, I think we did that for almost a year. And then I auditioned for The Lion King. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I auditioned for The Lion King. And I got the part. Man got to tell part. Um, Ulo, Ulin Delani and Lazi Serobe at the time, he was the lawyer for Sony. Because yeah. the, 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 everything was released through Sony. Mm -hmm. And Lin Delani and Lazi Serobe found out that I was going to to the States yeah. because of the Lion King. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, eh, imagine don't see us go to your state. I'll sign it up before her, baby. But no, so sign her as an individual, not with the group. Okay. So sign her, we were not even a new. And sign it and then. So I told them directly, go to me and the R&B. And oh. at the time, if if... You signed me as an R&B because they also promised, Guti, no, we are LA in Vanna, so we'll put you together with uh, 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 Kenny Latimo. Mm -hmm. And then he was at a court, and I said, no, thanks. Also, also, they wanted to keep you. Okay, wasn't that going to be a conflict with, uh, with, with the Lion King? No, never. Oh, okay. Lion King is theater. It's different. Oh, oh I hear you. I hear you. You see what I'm saying? It's yeah. different. So, so, but I, I refused because, one, I didn't know the industry. Uh, Two, yeah. if I get into a contract, I don't even know it. I don't have. I don't have a lawyer yeah. to look o over my. I don't even think my parents could have looked over the contract and knew well, what they were signing. The truth is, if you sign a contract with someone, um, they own you. They own you. <laughs> for, you see, for so the I was going to be owned probably for about five years. I was going to yeah. be owned, yeah. even if they take. I mean, I said to them, yeah. It's not popular at the moment. So Benizo is shelfer. You know, it was oh, going to get shelled, yeah. and I was going—I was not going to make money. So I was like, "Nah, yeah. I see again. I'll—I'll—I'll I'll, I'll sign when I'm ready." Yeah. You know? Yeah, I never signed. Not then, signed. then, then, uh, so, so maybe let it be known that we, we were in Hollywood just the other day. Oh yeah, 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 we were uh, in Hollywood, uh, my and, and you were homesick. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I wanted to stay in Hollywood. I didn't want to leave with you guys. You just didn't want to come back. Oh, home. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, LA, was, LA is everything. How was life, man, in LA? It was doing brilliant. The life it was brilliant. It mm. was, it was brilliant. It was another. It was my first time. First of all, it was my first time going on a flight. Mm -hmm. um, just getting on the plane. Gene. Wow. It was my first time and getting to America. La one day, it's about big TV. You're hearing now an American woman. What's going on? Are you guys all right? Are you from Africa? You know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I want to smoke big TV now, but yeah, 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 no, but. You know, wow. so I was green. I was literally green, and wow. getting to that place, it was all like, yo, jaw dropping, man. But it wow. was beautiful, you know, mm -hmm. because how 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 does a Soshanguwe boy go to LA? Wow, you know, wow. um, from just because before that, I, I need to tell you, I used to. This was in 1997, right? Mm -hmm. I used to write down everything that I wanted to do. Okay. before it happened yeah so what i wrote down was that in 1998 i was going to join joy celebration mm -hmm. and sing with family factory and be part of family factory wow. i i also wrote that my first album was going to be recorded overseas mm -hmm. i didn't know how that was going to happen wow. you see but the power of writing down and believing oh yeah oh yeah that's Haba Cook two and two. Hallelujah. Write the vision. Come out, somebody. Oh, she cut a <laughs> <laughs> so I did all of I used to write all of those things, but I believed it, you know? And and it happened. Yeah. You know, most of the things that I wrote down actually happened wow. that way. My first album was recorded in London. Um I got to sing with Family Factory and Joy Celebration as well. So you moved from LA to London. To London, yes. Was it still Lion King? It was still Lion King, uh, but this time I was doing a lead role. Oh, I one see. of the first South Africans to to perform on a on a West End stage yeah. um, and be the lead. You know, uh, be the lead. Yes, this man has been a superstar all his life. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow! And I know in London, um, uh, you you had a. Beautiful daughter. Yes, yes, um, yes. And She's 18 now. Wow. 
Wow, they grow up so fast. Hey, man. 18. <laughs> yep. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So now what 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 tells you that look um I'm ready. I'm ready to record my album. I'm in a, I'm in a foreign land but I'm ready to mm. record. I'm ready to come out as as as, as Brian Temba. What 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 prompts you to do that? Um synergy. I think um when you meet the right people. Mm-hmm. That thing will feel right. Yeah. Cuz cuz yeah, yeah. when I got to London um in America, I, I actually met a whole lot of producers, but mm. never worked with them. Yeah. Big producers that produced Whitney Houston's, your Brandy's, wow, and all of those wow. things. I met those guys, but never once did I ever get into studio with them and record with them. You're but I, be, I was crazy. friends with them. Yeah, I hear, uh, I hear you. <laughs> you understand? Hear. And uh, that prompted me to start my own, because I, I, was, I was passionate about recording and, and having a studio and all of those things. I was passionate about that and I wanted that. Mm-hmm. Um, after I was introduced um, to it by Donald, you know, Donald from, from Royal Priest Street. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we used to go to um, TUT and go in there and in yeah. the studios and I was like, oh, oh my God, <laughs> this is what I want to do, you yeah, know? Yeah. So in LA, it was the same thing. I would go into their studios, even if we didn't work, because mm-hmm. we would plan to work, Mang Figa, and then they'll tell me, oh no, I just got a... Um, you know, I have to record this artist. Um, record company came through and I need to work on something. Yeah. And I ended up saying, you know what? We don't have to work. Just let me be in the studio. And oh, see yeah. You just, work. just observe. Yeah. 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 So I think from then I started buying equipment and started learning. I mean, I played stuff without quantizing, you know? Wow. But the beauty of it was that everything that I played sounded good mm-hmm. enough to, to construct a song or to, to know that this is a song. Yeah. I started, made mistakes and all of those things. When I got to London, uh, I met with another producer. He knew I could sing and he listened to my production then. He was like, nah, mate, leave it, leave it. But when I met my producer for my first album, he was like, you know what? There's potential here. Mm -hmm. This is what he said to me. There's potential here. And this is what I believe. You don't crush somebody. We just encourage them to do better. Yeah. You understand? Because yeah, you don't yeah, know their yeah, journey. You don't yeah. know where they're going. Yeah. So my producer wa- became my mentor. And oh. he said, you know what? When we're in studio, when we're recording, or he, or, or if he's recording somebody else, mm-hmm. he'll have me sit and be an engineer and fix vocals and do oh, this and do this. Okay. Always taught me you, it's the sounds that make a song, you know, mm-hmm. the type of sounds that you use. Yeah. You don't just... You don't just create a song because you can. Yeah, yeah. It matters what sounds you use. It matters what kick, yeah. uh, snare, or hi-hats, or all of the those right things. The right amount. The <laughs> right amount as well. You understand? Yeah. So from then, I started learning. You know, I started learning from him mm-hmm. and creating my songs. At least I had about two songs on my first album, you yeah. know, um, as a producer and as a writer. Yeah. And that was my first time, you know, um, having an album out with my songs produced. Wow. You know, because uh, I'd never done that before. Yeah. Um, so it felt right. We met in church with this guy, mm-hmm. Steve Anthony Campbell, yeah. uh, man sent by God, man. Wow. That guy was just incredible. Saw me singing and he was like, hey, man, what are you doing? Uh, and I said, uh, no, I was doing Lion King by then. Yeah. I'm doing Lion King. And I was like, man, he said, because I, I sang at church at that yeah. day. I like how you do your thing. And so let's get together and see if we can do something. Mm-hmm. That's when we started. Wow. My first album. Is that the album that won the first summer? That won summer? the first summer, yes. Wow. Yeah. Look, um, <laughs> I'm not sure on which album this song is, but and, and, and you have a whole lot of songs that I really love. Yeah. Dominos. Yeah, first what, album. What, 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 what inspired that song? Well... They fell down. Just like Dominos. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it wasn't... I didn't write that song. You did? I wish I did. Okay. <laughs> okay. But uh, I might as well have you know, written that song yeah. because when the ladies, it was Rebecca Jones, um, who were part of the stable at the time that we, that, you know, my, my producer's stable and he, her and her sister were a group. Um, and they, they sometimes would write songs mm-hmm. for us and whatever. And they had written dominoes and, and they came to the studio rushing and just excited. They said, this is your song. Wow. Wow this is your song. And I was like, oh, what do you mean? They played Dominant and I was like, I almost fell over, man. Wow. I almost So you fell connected over. right here and Right there. there and then. And when I sang it, there was so much emotion. There was, it was, it was perfect. Wow. Yeah, it was perfect. It was a match made 
from her from heaven basically wow. and a lot of people don't know that dominoes is actually a gospel song oh yeah we need it on trace gospel yep <laughs> <laughs> wow man so 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 look you 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 you, you i cannot say you're doubling you you just you're multi-talented so, yes, I am. So, and 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 also you, 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 you just cross between genres and, yeah. and 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 styles of singing and you know. Yeah. But you also a producer. I am. Uh, a dope one for that matter. Yeah. Um, well, you say that, so <laughs> I take it as I'm dope. If you're gonna say I'm good like that. No. Look. 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 As 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 a practitioner in the same business myself. Yeah. Uh. uh, uh, uh you know, game. Yeah, <laughs> recognizes game. That's right. That's right. You said it. He, he. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You said it, man. You yeah. said it, man. So what? 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 What makes you now wanna? You know, also just produce your own stuff or or other people's stuff because you're not only producing your own music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've always wanted to. Do that. I think the minute I recognize that I love studio mm -hmm. and I love creating. Mm -hmm. I, I knew that I'll be doing my own music, yeah. you know, and I'll be producing for other people. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes it's not, it, the initial thought was never to make money out of it. Uh, it, it it's the love of it. It's, it's the, it's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the, you feel whole, you know, when, yeah. when, 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 when I'm producing, when I'm writing, when I'm singing, I feel whole, mm -hmm. you know, it's like a, I could have the biggest problems in the world, but the minute I get in here, things change I become a different person and I yeah I, I just love it wow look you <laughs> you acted overseas with yes. the Lion King yeah. and and with us here you were just Brian the singer yeah so even when you went overseas you, you sing to us you singing you're doing what what we know you to be yeah. doing yeah and then this one day I look was it on Facebook or Instagram or WhatsApp stories. Yeah, you getting ready to shoot. Yeah, your first uh, TV show. TV show, and guess what? That's probably one of the biggest yeah. soapies in the country, man. Yeah, man. Movango. Yeah. How does that come about? <laughs> and you doing it in Sutu, maybe? Yeah. I tell you, I'm doing it here in Munana. No, that's I surprised exactly myself. That's exactly how I laughed when I heard you for the first time. When I heard your first lines when Mubang. You know, the funniest thing is that I never thought I would speak Sutu the way I speak it now. Yeah. You know, um, and this is all due to the role that I that I was playing on 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 Mubango. Yeah. Um, look, when I came back to South Africa, Duma knew that I had finished working with Lion King because he's the casting agent. Oh. for the lion king so he knew i was coming back yeah. was so excited this is 20, 2009 and he was like dude i have a role for you yeah now you remember i was just coming from lion king five years run right yeah. i'm tired i would just want to do my music so uh, yeah, duma yeah. comes and says i have a role for you and i'm like nah i'm good bro not yet yeah. i'm not ready for that um and years went past and i obviously brian Timber was born properly mm -hmm. and then 2013 I go, because um, I, be, I became friends with the Lion King crew and the castings and everybody, you know, from the States. Mm -hmm. And they were um, market theater. They were doing auditions there. And I went to see them and this Chablele and Elapa. Hey, it was nice. And Duma was there. Yeah. And I was like, uh, I think at that time, hey, better. Hey, life in me. Yeah. Hey, you better. So I went to him and I'm like, dude, I think I'm ready for that role now. <laughs> Can, can we do this already? <laughs> can we do this? It's like, ah, when I'm like, and I was like, dude, I wasn't ready. And I needed to explore my music, you know? Mm -hmm. And and he said, okay, cool. Come to the office and let's see what we can do. So they hired me for another role, not not the Rantumeng role. Yeah. And I did that role for two weeks and they were like, you know what? Actually, we've decided to bring back Rantumeng because he, he had gone already. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They decided to bring back Run to Ming, and that's when I started shooting Run to Ming. Wow. And yeah, I got a, a lot of backlash, man. A lot of people loved the first Run to Ming. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. when well, you get into case. another role, yeah. hey, by criticize, hey, Twitter was buzzing, bruh. Yeah. 
excuse me, they were bashing me proper, but it's okay because um, now I'm ranting. So yeah. even now after 20, 2018, I'm still viewed as that run to me yeah. so for me that that that's what matters wow wow and 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 you did a good job by the way i did yes mm-hmm. i did how was tenders oh uh, anyway oh wow <laughs> <laughs> no i can say this though tenders is a lovely well not tenders but cindy yeah, yeah lovely lovely lady lovely lady and yeah. she helped me a lot you know with the role and yeah. kind of like making me feel comfortable with the role yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Well, I wish, I wish, I wish, uh, Mobang was still on, uh, well, in your time, right? Um, because there, there are a whole lot of things that I wanted us to iron out from that storyline. But anyway, wow. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Anywho, anywho, man, uh, I don't know, man. Um, you, 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 your story is really fascinating. Uh, but it's like I'm talking to somebody I don't actually know no, at yeah. all. No, yeah, and Umazi because, from Dala, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, but 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 look, man, thanks for opening your doors, your studio. No, definitely, definitely. Uh, your time. Yeah. Obviously, uh, the story is a lot. You know. Um, I think if we sat here, we would stay oh, for no. two days. You know. This will have to have part fifteen, <laughs> and still we're halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But 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 look, man. I know I hijacked you. Yeah, I know you have to work. Yeah, you planned this well from from <laughs> where you come from. I yeah. know, I know, I know, I know. You have to work. Uh, but 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 for giving me your time, thank you, man. I appreciate it. No, you it's my pleasure, man. Yeah, you know. Let's just have two part two for this. <laughs> let's let's have part two. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, maybe before we leave. Yeah. You have a new EP coming. I, I do want have an everybody a... to look, guys. I was privileged to to listen to some of the songs. He made me. I mean, you know, people, musician wants to keep things their cards close to their chest, <laughs> but he, he made me listen to that, and 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 I love it. Talk to yeah. us about that, that that EP, man. Um, the EP. Okay, so so the single is called A Star. Mm-hmm. Um, the what inspired this the 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 song particularly mm-hmm. uh you know that um our my friend is late uh, innocent Mudiba. Yeah, yeah yeah so the the original track was actually meant for him not oh. the lyrics not the melody and all of that just the music of it okay was meant for him so <clears throat> a week before he passed uh, he asked me to to create something sounding my pianoish you know so for my piano mm-hmm. and i i um i actually created the music for for that you know oh, okay. unfortunately a week later he passed on so um i found myself sitting here and and kind of you know you know when you said mm-hmm. the only thing you can write is what you feel what you feel yeah, yeah yeah so so i wrote the song in um just a tribute to him you know, yeah, yeah. Esther, because also because I've worked with him before and we were playing around with names. Um, he loved the star situation, you know, okay. so he called himself Eno Star. Hey. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so hence why I said a star, you know, okay. um, a star that shines up in the sky, watching over me, mm-hmm. a star that shines, you know. Mm-hmm. Something like that. <laughs> this you know? guy can see, guys. Yo, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, I, uh, not even wow. singing, man. So that's that's the backstory of that song. Um, so what I've done is I did them because it sounded like I'm a piano type of vibe, mm-hmm. and I thought also in 2024 I'm working on a on a house album. Yeah. So why don't we introduce Brian Timber to that market through a star? You know, yeah. so I got a few friends of mine, Chima Music, um, George Leslie of Artwork Sounds. Um, I had uh, DJ Micah S, who, who's from Soweto, mm-hmm. who does my piano a lot. Mm-hmm. And one hip hop DJ, a friend of mine, Knife Beats, yeah. um, to do different versions of the song. Mm-hmm. And hence why the EP. I hear you. Wow. And then and, and, and maybe, maybe, maybe to touch on part two a little bit. Yeah. My guy, you're also a DJ now. I'm a DJ, bro. <laughs> oh. I'm a DJ. <laughs> wow. So yes. how did how did that come about, man? Look, I I was playing around with the idea. I think last year, uh, 2023. Mm-hmm. 
just thinking about it. And like, mm, it would be nice to DJ, you know. A friend of mine used to come here with his setup and we would just play around and he'd show me a few things, you know. Yeah. But I never thought I would get into it the way I am now. Yeah. So in uh, December, my wife, my birthday on the 9th of December, my wife buys me a set of decks. Wow. <laughs> Because I had spoken about, you know, the DJing situation. I was like a kid in a candy store, bro. You have a good wife, man. Keep I do. Her. I do. I do. I do. And I think from that day, I started playing around with it. I called my friend again to come and actually teach me properly. Mm -hmm. So I started doing it. All of December, almost all of December, I started doing that. Until January. I got better and better and better at it. And I decided, let me just see how it works look i i haven't watched you live but whenever you 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 are you are djing yes <laughs> yes uh, uh, uh i watch your you, you do a instagram live yes. i don't know other apps yeah. uh, uh, but 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 i'm always glued to what you do yeah man and and the thing is i marvel at how you you're so comfortable I mean, it's, it's, obviously, it's weird. You, you're an you're an artist. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, stage comes naturally to you. Exactly. Yeah. But how you're so comfortable on the decks, and I'm thinking to myself, wow. So actually, <laughs> a human being is a it's fascinating. It's fascinating. Man. No, you know what, Lenti Fanane, I used to love a lot playing video games. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. So I'm a geek in a way. I love computers. I love. Everything about computers. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So I think being in music and knowing what to do, I can dismantle the studio and put it back together. Yeah. I can set up somebody else's studio and you understand? Because yeah. that's what I love. I love tech. I love technical things. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, somebody might ask, why are you DJ? Are you getting into the industry because it's the, f the, the, the in thing to do? No, not really. Actually... Um, if I know, I knew what I know now about DJing, I would have gotten into it a long, long time, time ago. ago. Yeah, yeah. Because one, it's not just about the 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 hype of it. No, no, no. It's about music. Mm -hmm. The joy that if you're a musician and you had to DJ, yeah. you would fall in love with music all over again. Oh, I hear you. And I that's exactly you. what's going on through my. Mind. I would sit here by myself and DJ for two hours and wow. and feel no way. Because I'm not pleasing anyone. I'm doing it for myself. Yeah. How it makes me feel. And, and, and that's what we connect to. That's it. You know, the, the, the realness. Yeah. Your, 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 you being real to what you do. Yes. That's and what we connect to. It's not about fashion. It's about finding a new lease of life. Like yeah. in, in, in music. You yeah. know, finding yeah. a new passion in music. Yeah. And that's all it is. Wow. Wow. You know. So do you have a DJ name? or is it No, it's Brian, Brian Temple, bro. Yeah, we can say Brian Temple on the decks. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Temba on the decks. Yep. That's what it is. <laughs>